Buongiorno and welcome back to Kai Fish Johnny. Okay, it is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite times of the year and it is taking the roof off the pond. The reason I have the roof on the pond is to sort of like the chill factor onto the pond during the winter and the extreme temperatures to give the pond a fighting chance and the fish a fighting chance of not experiencing any extreme fluctuations in the in the cold temperatures shall we say plus it stops debris and stuff entering the pond okay but anyway that's why i have it on but it looks goddamn ugly okay so we're going to be taking it off and that's why it's one of my favorite times plus unboxing or unwrapping or uncovering the window rest assured behind that window it will be caked in algae like a green sheet it's healthy it's a sign of a healthy healthy pond um obviously you don't want string algae or things like that because it grows out too much but a good pond i'm led to believe has a nice green coating so i'm not going to film myself like in fast motion uh unpacking the pond i'm just going to video intermittently i am dressed in my uh can you see them military shorts but you wouldn't thought to get any military precision here you may get an idiot abroad precision but you'll not get military precision before i start i'm just going to tell you what my idea is firstly i'm going to take everything off have a look wipe everything down all the st all the tops <coughs> all the tops of the stones clean it down then secondly my idea as you will have noticed here there are some uh, bag ties and screws and you may be wondering what the hell are you gonna do right i'm a little bit mad sometimes i know that a little bit mad but i like trying things that are different so i'm going to try this little idea it may or it may not work so but we're just going to go with it so see these little grooves let me flip my way out my mug out of the way so we've got a groove here and we've got a groove here and we can wrap around there so we've got two nets one and two and I'm going to put one net here and I'll leave this as a gap because herons can't stand on this or balance on that and the water bubbles up that much it can't, they won't be able to strike effectively and the pond is 1.3 metres deep and generally they call you right down the bottom and they never like you're in the middle due to whatever reason. Uh, so then the bit same will be on this side, wrapped around here, groove there. So what I'll do is I will put a... Um, Oh, there's my little Rodney red breast, which has just reminded me. I forgot to tell you guys, his name Rodney. You guys named him Rodney. You vote, voted for him. <coughs> you voted for him. I think he overwhelmingly won. He's called Rodney, but I think there's two of them. So we're going to have Rodney and... Not Del Boy. Surely not. No. We'll have to see what happens about that. So, I digress. So, I'm going to pull bits of the string in, back tie to the netting. Because I want, ideally, I want the netting, because it's goddamn ugly to sit underneath the stones so when you look at it from the gar from the house you don't really see, you see minimal netting minimal netting is what i want to achieve maximum safety obviously leaving a big hole in the middle may create its own problems but i'm going to put it through there a bag tie double-ended bag tie so tie two together and then i'm going to connect it to a screw all right so i know it sounds a bit mad but you're just gonna have to stick with me and if it works it works and if it doesn't it doesn't hey ho so then I'm going to double end bag tie, one end to the netting, one end to a screw. The screw can't pass through there because the tops are like in place and won't move. Therefore, I'll be able to tighten it with the bag tie, making it extremely tight as much as I can to get the, to get like a maximum amount of resistance to make it look like not saggy because I don't want it to look saggy. And I don't want it to look loose and flappy around. So that's what I'm going to try first. And if it does work, I can still stick the netting back on and hold it on with bricks temporarily while I build something. The one thing that I was thinking about building was going to be screws into the side, wooden frame, and then like just sit it on top of it with like um, a netting, like a fine netting over the top. But we'll just see. We'll see how this goes and we'll see what happens. Uh, see whether I like it or whether I don't. So I best get cracking and then I'll, come, I'll snap back to you when I've got something to tell you. Okay, so plan number one failed as many might have predicted at the start of this. But this is Kaifish Johnny. We try, we learn, and we adapt as we go along. So now, for the time being, is what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna strip it completely of nothing on the top, clean the surfaces, and then go and put the net back on with the use of bricks to stabilize it in the corners. Okay, not ideal, not long-term, but you never know, if you drop a comment in, you could help me develop this going forward. One of the things that I'm thinking long-term, I think I said before, is like some type of screw or type of shelf thing 
like here, if I can show you. Uh, sort of like a shelf, like screws in there, like at the top, across there, and then build like a frame to go around the pond, and then put like, and then nail on some white mesh, I can't remember what the right name is, is it chicken wire or not chicken wire? some type of mesh, fine mesh, to go round in like a hexagon shape. But the only problem I've got with that, again, it goes to the centre because I don't think the centre is massively at risk from herons, is when I do turn on the, what currently looks like a plant pot, but it's not, it's a blade. It's got plant, plants growing in it randomly. Uh, when I do turn that on, and if I've got something built and a rigid structure, that water will be just continuously battering against it and sort of take away the glen of tranquility that it creates. So, again, I'm thinking about just doing these top parts, but anyway, let's get back to it. Times are cracking, are lacking. Kids will be home soon. I need to strip this and clean it down. Okay, so, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Check this out. Obviously, I've not wiped the top down, but I've just had a little gander over the top, and I absolutely love it. Make sure you look at Jaffa, the Kahaku. The shape of him. Oof, beautiful. I don't know what you've got there. I think you might have got a lot of reflection, but what you can see is the fish are beautiful. I love the top-down view. Side view by the windows is never gonna be a top-down view, in my opinion. Uh, but what I can see is the water seems to be bashing around a little bit. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Oh, there we go. Look at Kahaku there, look at Jaffa. There. And there's Otis, my brown shag oil, the biggest one to survive the PP incident. All the others, all 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All 13 of them buzzing. And that is a really, really, really beautiful sight. So what I've temporarily done is I have suspended the air to the pond. Um, just to allow the debris that's fallen off the trees and got onto the the um the roof of the pond uh, that's fallen in so then it can head without hindrance head without hindrance you like that to the skimmer there to skim the surface um and hopefully clear the surface so then i can turn the air back on but i am really really enjoying looking at the fish i've like just become so much more chilled just let me see if i can get my impact ground for you but this that when i put that roof on at winter it kills me when i take it off i love it Oh, they're just obviously they're a little bit spooked at the minute because their environment's massively changed. A, there's no roof, and B, there's no air aeration. There is enough oxygen within the water. Uh, but wow, wow, they look so beautiful. Here they come. Let me spin it round. I think that Kaku Jaffa is beautiful. Rosa too, she's amazing. I'm hoping these newbies are gonna make uh, make it even more beautiful, eh? So anyway, I best get dust in the side of the pond off. Okay guys, so the window unboxed, or unpackaged, or whatever you wanna call it, and it looks magnificent, but as predicted, it's got a massive big green blanket on it. The fish look beautiful though. So I'm gonna flip my mug out of the way, approach, I've dusted down the sides, and I'm about to start putting the temporary roof on, which will be bricks with netting. Okay, so where we go? 1.8 meters, this window. You see how bad it is? It looks bad. Well, probably is bad, but it's apparently the sign of a healthy pond, this. So you'd get this sort of thing on the, on your fiberglassing. So you get this on the, on the outside of your pond where the water meets whatever you use in a liner 
uh, fiberglass in whatever you need, you get like this green. You can see it's only a thin layer. So I'm going to wipe that off, which is undoubtedly going to make the pond a little bit more cloudy until the filter grabs it and chases it in. So I'm just going to pop you over the top and hope. Rolls are there at the back with a J on the back. Nice shape to her. I really have no idea whether this is going to come out on camera or not. Jaffa. I hope that was as beautiful as it was for you, was for you, as it was for me. I really enjoyed that moment, especially with the birds tweeting and that. Uh, so now I'm going to just set about cleaning that window. And once it's cleaned, I'll probably snap back to you and then I'll snap back to you when uh, I've put the top on. It's really, really created a, like a, a calmness that I really needed in my life, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's why a lot of people get ponds because they are very, very tranquil. But the sound of the birds, everything's just falling in, into place. It's just beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so check that out. My pond is back. Mikasa Yukasa. I don't know what pond is in whatever language that is, but you get me drift. Our pond is back. The window is cleaned, and which has resulted in the water in the pond being murky. Uh, I'm not going to put the lid on now because I just want to enjoy this moment so I'm going to be finishing this video now uh, I am really really happy to have this lid back off I, I, on initial observations looking down onto the car there seems to be absolutely zero issues so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip El Mugo El Mugo out the face out the face out of the way and just let you have a look at the pond in all its glory but obviously We've got a lot to do. And move.